Hello everybody, it's Joel and Jamie here from Lost Revolution. Today we're doing another Redstone Basics tutorial. What we're doing is we're encompassing the entirety of the basics of the Redstone Repeater, as you can see before you. We're going to get onto its uses and really what we just call the theory of the Redstone Repeater. So Joel, if you'd first like to get on and just show them how to build it. Yep, sure. So if you're new to Minecraft, you obviously need to know how to build this. Um, you'll need three stone blocks, a Redstone Torch, and some redstone. And if you didn't know, stone blocks are just cobblestone in, put in a furnace, and redstone torches are just a stick with redstone on top. So, we get all those items, um, and then we go to any crafting bench. Just put the three stone blocks around the bottom here. Um, it should say a slab or something. Put the redstone in the dead center, and put the redstone torches either side of the redstone, and you'll get a redstone repeater like so. And you can exactly. put it down. So, and now we'll just get onto our first section. Yep. Alright guys, so obviously another use for it was its original purpose as a repeater, that is to prolong a pulse of redstone. As you can see, we have two examples. This one, as you can see, as redstone goes further, it dies out and becomes a darker shade, but the redstone repeater renews that and it starts like a new pulse all over again going to the um, lamp. Now if we go over here, this one goes for um, 30 blocks and has no repeater in the middle. So if we turn it on, at the 15 block mark, the redstone will just die out and it won't reach your redstone lamp. So that's just another use you can use redstone repeaters for. Alright guys, so our third example here is just to show how redstone repeaters are used to add a delay to a redstone pulse. Now as you can see, when I right click on this repeater over here, every time I right click, I'm adding a tick until I get to the fourth tick, then when I right click again, it goes back to one. Now each tick itself is adding 0.05 seconds to the time it takes for the pulse to get through. So as you can see, I've got almost no delay on the one on the left here, more in the middle one, and the most on the right. So as I flick this lever, the rest of the lamps get turned on and off, one after the other. And that's how these are used to add delay to a redstone pulse. Yep, okay, moving on. Alright, so another use for repeaters is, as you can see by experimenting, when you put down redstone next to each other, they don't form into two lines like you would expect, they instead join together. So if I turn this on, it would activate both lines of these redstone. What you can do is, as you can see, if I do this, it only turns on the repeaters that are directly in front of each other repeater. It won't turn on repeaters on the side, so you can use this to like create streams, basically, that won't activate everything around it. Alright guys, so with this one, what we're just going to show you is, any block with a powered redstone repeater facing into it is then becoming a powered block, which essentially means it's turned into a redstone torch. So as you can see, with this one on the left, there is no repeater facing into that stone block, so when I turn on this, nothing happens. The redstone behind it doesn't get activated. However, with this one, with the redstone repeater facing into it, the block itself is essentially turned into a redstone torch, meaning that the redstone on the other side, or any redstone adjacent to it that you will place, is activated, as you can see it's turned on the torch yep. behind it. However, just with this third one, what we're going to show you is, non-solid blocks, like glass, transparent blocks, don't actually work for this, so as you can see, doesn't work, but that's just a little nuance that you have to learn in time. Cool, moving on. Alright, so the second last basic thing we can do with repeaters are clocks. And as you can see, all it is is just a little circuit where redstone using the repeaters are going around in a circle. And every time they reach a certain corner, they activate a pulse. That in this case just goes to a redstone lamp, but it could go to whatever. As you can see, we've got quite a long pulse here. I mean, sorry, not quite a long pulse, quite a long clock here. Um, it takes quite a while for it to go around the whole circle because all the repeaters are in full delay, four ticks, and there's quite a few repeaters. Here we have a much shorter one, so as you can see the lamp's getting activated much often. The redstone repeaters are on less delay and there's less of them. And here we got one that's pretty much just flashing away. And all we need to do to activate these are, um, as you can see we've got a lever on each side. I'm just going to add an extra pulse, you just turn it on and off real quickly. And as you can see we've added another pulse to it. And you do that to all of them. Um, this one you can't quite do that, but like you would basically just turn it off and on really quickly and it would add a new pulse to it. And all these pulses can go to whatever you want, like I said, for instance you could create a one minute timer maybe, and that could be useful for maybe farming your wheat or something. Um, or you could have a really rapid lung one like this one over here, and it could be going to maybe a dispenser shooting arrows or something like that. All very easy stuff. Alright guys, so a final basic use for redstone repeaters is how they have the ability to be locked in their current state. 
For instance, right now, as you can see, this lever goes into a repeater and then goes to this door that is open or shut. So I can control that door, open it from here, etc. Now, if I flick this lever here, all this is is a repeater that faces sideways into another repeater. Now, when I flick this lever here to activate the side repeater, as you can see, it puts a little slab, and that's actually bedrock where you can't quite see it because of our texture pack. Um, either way, it locks this in off position right now because it's off. So now, if I try to activate it, nothing happens. It's stuck as off. Um, if we simply unlock it, then we can now activate it again. And we can even lock it in on position so it'll forever stay on, and this won't make any difference. But yeah. Those are just a few of the real basic things you need to know about repeaters. Obviously, there are much more complicated things you can achieve, because they're basically the building blocks of redstone. But these are just some of the basics to help you out. So, I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Maybe give it a like, and other than that, we'll see you next weekend. See you next time. Joel, if you just like to show them how to build it first off. Sure. So, if you're new to Minecraft, I guess you'll need to know how to build it. Um, Jamie Lee has kindly taken all the items out of the chest. So. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yes, you are, Jamie. <laughs> Good job. No, they weren't even in there, because when I broke... I just found myself really funny just then for, like, no reason. Okay. What? Uh, it was like, <laughs> it has the ability to prolong the redstone pulse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just like... That, we'll see you next weekend. See you next time. Well, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> nice.